Okay, Matrix, I just want to speak about tropisms again. Uh, there seems to be some misunderstandings with regards to tropisms. So I just want to review it very quickly with you. So there's um, the tropisms you have to do, there's two types, and um, sometimes I mention the third one, but the third one is not in the CAPS curriculum. The first one is phototropism, and that is growth towards the light. Now notice that this plant is growing towards the light, the stem is growing towards the light, but the root will be growing away from the light, and that's going to be very important. Then we have gravitropism uh, or geotropism. We refer to it as geotropism, but they also call it gravitropism. It's not wrong saying gravitropism, but we usually use the word geotropism. And that is growing towards or away from gravity. So that's very important. The roots will grow towards gravity. And then stem will go, grow away from gravity. There's also hydrotropism. Now, this is the one that we don't really have in the CAPS document. But just to mention it, it's growing of the roots towards a water source. Now, what causes tropisms is the hormone auxins. Auxins, and auxins are produced in the tips of the stems and the tips of the roots. And from there on, they spread and they have an effect on the growth of cells. They actually make grow, cells grow longer. They, spore, they cause cell elongation. So over here, we can see that the cells on this side is much um longer than the cells on that side so the cells on this side is much longer than the cells on that side and that causes this tip of the stem to bend towards the light because if the cells on this side is longer and on this side is shorter you can see that i'm going to bend over towards the light and that happens because the auxins don't like light they move away from the side that has the most light and cause elongation of the side that has more um, less light. Okay, so auxins hates light but loves gravity. But what you also need to remember, um, okay, so it's going to go away from light and it go, it's going to go towards gravity. But we also have to remember that the effect on the stem um, are different than the effects on the root. Stems are positive phototropic. Okay, so they grow towards the light, but negative geotropic. So stems grow away from gravity. While on the roots, you want your roots to go deeper, so you want your roots to become positive geotropic, but you don't want your roots to be exposed to light. It will burn them, and it's going to be opposite to positive geotropic. So stems are uh, roots tend to be negative phototropic. Now, this is an example that you guys got wrong in one of the tests, and so that's why I want to go through this. Remember that if I don't include a source of light, then it's not phototropism. The example you got was one like this. There's no light, so I cannot say that it is phototropism. It's only phototropism if they uh, show a source of light. And in this case, what's going to happen uh, with the auxins is my auxins is going to move from the tip, it's going to move to that side of the um, stem, cause elongation on this side. The cells will be longer on this side and then shorter on this side over here. And so my stem is going to bend towards the light. With, with geotropism, you've got to remember that the effect of the stem is different than the effect of the root. Now, in both cases, now I've, I've laid my plant on the side here, so it's going to start growing towards how gravity is going to influence it. And so remember that my auxins are produced in the tips of the stem and the tips of the root. Now they're going to move according to gravity. And how are they going to move? They're going to move 
downwards. They're going to move down there. So they're going to be at the bottom of the root and at the bottom, closest to gravity. And now, the effect on the root is that it's going to stimulate growth over there. Um, uh, sorry, it inhibits growth. This is the root side. It inhibits growth over there. And so the cells are actually going to be shorter over here. So auction does opposite of what it usually does. And so it inhibits growth at the bottom. And the cells at the top is going to become longer. Because in the case of the root, auctions inhibit growth. And so my root is going to bend downwards. Because it inhibits growth in the root. But it stimulates growth. It stimulates growth on this side. So over this side, the auxins will stimulate growth. So in the stem, it stimulates growth. And so my cells become longer on this side and shorter on that side. And so my stem will bend towards the light. Uh, sorry, the bend away from gravity. Remember, this is... Um, this is geotropism, not uh, phototropism. So bend away from gravity. So that's why we say that roots are negative phototropic. They grow away from light. That's roots. And then the stem is positive phototropic. But in the case of geotropism, roots are positive geotropic. I doesn't want to write a T P over there, but the stems are negative geotropic. Negative geotropic. Okay. And so the growth is different depending on the situation, and you've got to remember that. Thank you, Matrix. Have a nice day.